All right, finish settings. There we go. Yuki, Hibiki, Saki, and I with new Lux, Lux attributes. Oh, I don't know, not much change for Hibiki though. <laughs> Hey everybody, Devoted Oblivion here. Welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. Last time, we took on the Club Mercury area, and with with uh, taking down Club Mercury, we got uh, Hibiki to join our club. And this time, we will be taking on the Club Venus area, and as usual... <clears throat> We will go grab and partner with some of the businesses in the Venus area, which is right here, so that we can get some fans. <sighs> okay, so I think I talked about this a little bit at the end of last episode as I run over to the Venus area, but uh, there was a... I'm gonna... they won't let me through there, okay. There was a uh, pretty much of a hot streak, a heat wave-ish, that uh, hit uh, my city. So it became hard to record because I don't have AC. Uh, although now uh, it has cooled down, so I should be able to record uh, much more. And they, these guys stopped me. Okay. I haven't even had time to put, uh, I haven't even put money into, uh, the new abilities we got for, or, for, uh, Breaker. But, yeah, I'm looking to record a bit more now that the weather is actually cooler for a bit. But I'm also two weeks away from, uh, wow, I actually got this heat action off. Uh, but yeah, we're about two weeks away from at the time of recording this of uh, my local convention, so I don't think I will have much uh, ready, or I will try to get at least this batch of episodes out before the convention, so there's something, since I basically went all of July without uh, the phone upload, just because I got busy, and the heat did not help at all. Okay, okay, let's switch it. Uh, bug. God, that was that was rough. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing. So hopefully, this let's play ends by at least in terms of recording by the end of August. Uh, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, first up on our list of businesses to partner is by talking to Kyoko at Sega High Tech Land. Oh, Majima-san. I heard you run Club Sunshine. Uh, yeah, that's right. Huh, I'd love to help. I'd love to help out if I can. Let me put out the word about your club from this arcade too. Uh, you do it at? Thanks. Sonbori is full of dodgy clubs, so I'm hoping if your place gets big, I'll clean up the whole area. Uh, that's the plan. Boom, 550 fans. That was easy. And now the rest will require money, starting with this one right here. Pachinko Wind West. Uh, 55 million. There we go. Okay. Uh, and next is right here as well. Sokyu Cinema. Okay. And we go across the street. I believe. Yep. This one. Cakes Marianne. And there. And then right here, right next to the dragon and tiger, Gyu Masu. Okay, and that's half of the businesses you can partner with. Uh, oh, you know what? Do it. Million yen dream machine. And you have some little variety here. How the hell did a uh, freaking turtle end up in there? But yeah, at least have a little of some variety uh, uh, to not let these episodes uh, be pretty much one note, but here's next one, Def Curry. Probably very spicy. I would not want. And then over here, Yakitori, Yakitori Toriko. Torik, Torikko. Okay. And then 
uh, I believe, over here. Yep, look. Crepe cats. And back here, where the taxi is, Fuguta. And the last one is this big one. Sultanbori Kabuki Theater. There we go. And we have 3,500 fans to start with. So that is actually uh, two, the first two uh, like information things. So the 30-60% equivalent to uh, Kiryu's uh, business. Uh, we have reached 1,500 fans and 3,000 fans. And then the last break point, 90%? No, it's 5,000 fans. So let's head back to Sunshine and see what Yoda has to say about uh, Venus to start. Well, I, uh, yeah, let's pick it. Let's pay a visit to the shrine first, actually, since I actually have CP by doing all by buying so many accessories for uh, the girls. And I am going to start with grabbing Money Magnet. Money Magnet. Well, we're almost there at Golden Shotgun, but I need Gotta Go Fast for and just because we can club make over two. There we go. And then the rest will be for... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Freaking bikers. Well, well, at least we're in a cramped space. Speaking of cramped space, I don't know why I went slugger. Because it's not good in a cramped space. Okay. But yeah, let's quickly beat these guys up. Since they're in our way. So back to Breaker. As we get hit from behind. That's not the move I want. There we go. Windmills. I believe that's what they're called. Okay, back to Slug. Oh, two heads, because we don't have enough power surges. Okay. Now, let's head back into Sunshine and see what Yoda has to say on Venus. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima-san. We now have more than 1,500 fans from the Club Venus area. Ah, I see. Er, which one was Club Venus? Uh, it's a club owned by Kanehara, that pretty boy who used to be a host. I hear he uses his looks to make his girls do whatever he wants them to. Naniate? Girls actually fall for that old crap? Uh, who knows? Girls love a good-looking guy. Also, Kanehara is apparently in a relationship with Chika-chan, Club Venus's number one girl. Uh, I remember the guy being pretty douchey. Was he that good-looking? I can't remember his damn face. Maybe we should go to Club Venus to take a look. Same, because I also do not remember how, how he looks like. Uh, uh, Yoda-san, where do you keep the club's customer data and financial information? Uh, it's on a shelf in the back office. Okay, that's next on my list to organize. Uh, who's she? When do we hire a hostess like that? Oh, that's Oishi-san. I heard her to do administrative work. She came in with a resume the other day. She's really good at it, so she's been very helpful. Yoda, you dumbass! <laughs> we're adding people to our back office too, huh? Looks like we're really growing. Majima, you're also dumb! <laughs> Absolutely, let's keep working towards defeating Club Venus. When you're ready to check them out, just say the word. You two are so dumb! I can tell! She's not... She's she, she's hired because... Oh, <sighs> uh, you boys! You two men! Oh, you're so dumb! Well, let's go sneak a peek at Kanahara's Club Venus. Uh, good idea, then let's... Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Uh, where's the laugh coming from? What the crap? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Oh. Oh, you have the pompadour. And you are? Huh? What? Me? It's me! <laughs> I have no idea who me is. Who are you? Eh? Uh, wait, you don't remember me? You don't remember this beautiful face? Uh, Club Venus is Kanahara. Omar Ishikawa. Seriously, who are you? <laughs> uh, seriously, who are you? Eh? Uh, uh, hang on a sec, you really forgot? Eh? My name is Kanahara. 
Kanehara, owner of Club Venus, one of the five stars. Is that clear? Uh, Kanehara? Well, don't even mention it. You do look a little familiar. <laughs> uh, I knew who he was as soon as he walked in. Uh, now you tell me. <laughs> So you really did manage to forget my face, huh? That makes me sad. Your poor primitive brain. Uh, really? Insults now? Whatever. What's your business here at Club Sunshine today? Kind of high the five stars. <laughs> <laughs> that little birdie told me you guys were going to be scoping out my club. Figured I'd be proactive check you guys out first. Uh, and what little birdie was that? You want to cut to the chase or keep bullshitting me? <laughs> <laughs> You're such an amateur, Majima Kun. It's the very definition of amateur hour in here. My lady, your performance is at an end. Come back home to me. Uh, yes, Kanahara sama. Yep. Oh. What? Huh. A job well done, my little spy. I've already reserved us a room at a nice hotel with a beautiful night view. Oh, I can't wait. Did you steal the things I asked for? Uh, yes. Club Sunshine's customer data. Details on the girls, financial data, I got it all. Uh, wait a minute. Yoda-chan? Uh, that can't be. Well, she saw was a spy. Well, I thought, you have no brain, bro. <laughs> he handed me all the confidential information about the second dog. It was like taking candy from a baby. You got played like a damn shamisen. You got, you got played because if it's freaking Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> You should have known I'd do anything and pry the upper hand from my opponent. That's the only way to keep winning this life or death game, Majima Goro. Heh, <laughs> appreciate the lesson, Kanahara. Heh, <laughs> such humility is rare in fools. You truly know your place. I wish you could. Can you take care of the data analysis after you get back? I want the juicy details of every weakness. Oh, you got it. Anything else? Anything else in it for me? Mm. Uh, well, it depends on what you find in that data. I want to make a few calls next to that little hotel stay. It'll be just the two of us, of course. Ah, with pleasure. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> that was simple enough. Women are so amazingly foolish. <sighs> uh, you're a special kind of scumbag, ain't ya? Mm. I'll take that as a compliment. Speaking of scum, though, I must say this CD little club is quite fitting for you. A CD exterior, a CD owner. Everything here is so seedy, you can smell it in the air. Uh, really, you should be honored as someone of my stature would deign to even set foot in this what? club. Uh, wanna give it a rest of the lame insults? Uh, yeah, I can't believe you're so rude. I don't know about Majima son and the rest of the team, but I am not seedy. <sighs> How can we get to be the only one who ain't seedy? Uh, because. Amazing. A jewel among the refuse. What? Eh? Mm. What a beautiful woman. Uh, yes, yes. You're talking about Aichan, right? I know how this goes. I'm not gonna fall for it this yeah. time. Uh, no. It's you, my dear. What is your name? Huh? <laughs> what? You really mean me? Um, my name is Yuki. Huh? Uh, Yuki. Say, do you want to be my lady? <laughs> what? I can pay you three times the peanuts you're earning here, and grant you the priceless pleasure of sleeping with me. Think about it. Instead of wasting away in a dump like this, you could be living a life of luxury at my side. Mm. Um, no way. Huh? Huh? What did you just say? Uh. Um, I said no way. You're not my type. The furthest thing from it, actually. So, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not? <laughs> what a tease. I like you. Now I really need to make you mine. <laughs> huh? Huh. Oh, you found a new girl to toy with? Ah, Chica. Uh, and only moments after you manipulated another girl into doing your dirty work for you. Uh, oh, you mean, was she spying for me? Well, she might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but she was the right tool for the job. This time. Uh, who's that? Ah, uh, that's Chica-chan. She's the number one hostess at Club Venus. <sighs> Is she? She's a beauty, and no doubt she's got what it takes to earn that spot. Uh, yeah, she has this mysterious air about her that just turns men into jelly. They say she's one of the top girls in Sotenbori. Your words that she's going out with Kanahara-san seem to be true as well. <sighs> uh, you're really up on, snuff, on stuff like this, Ai-chan. 
Women are like bonds, Chica. Most important is to move them into right positions to make sure they fulfill their potential. Uh, and when a girl has no more value to you, you just throw her away without a second dog. Huh, but of course, and one day, I'll surpass Tsukiyama kun with that strategy. Just you watch. I can't let something as silly as sentiment get in the way of my ambitions, now can I? Mm. I know. I just need to make sure I don't get thrown away, too. <laughs> <laughs> you worry about things like that, Chica. I would never throw you away. As long as you're the number one girl in my club. Mm. I see. Well, I'll have to work harder, then. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You will be mine, Yuki. I promise. <laughs> I always get what I want by any means necessary. Well then, ta-ta! Ugh, I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Ah, uh, Yuki-chan, you're such a big hit with him. You did it. Uh, I'm not exactly happy about being hit on by that creep. Uh, that guy's more twisted than a pretzel. So, Kanahara and Chika from Club Venus. Well, at least things are staying interesting. Well, that was, uh, 1,500 fans. Can we just leave and come back? Oh, million yen vending again. I feel like it's, I, if I remember correctly, just, like, tied to achievement or something to actually win, uh, stuff. Golden, right? I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? Golden rifle. The shotgun has a golden barrel and packs an incredible amount of force in the shot. Damn! I wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's head back in. Yeah, we gotta talk again. <laughs> for reaching, or for congratulating Majima-san that we have 3,000 fans from the Club Venus area. Oh, nice. We're making good progress. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I bet when Kanahara hears that news, he'll wipe the smile right off his face. Yeah, sure hope so. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ugh, oh, that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's like I just saw you one minute ago. Kanahara. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You finally managed to remember my name. I'm so happy. <sighs> and what do you want? Make I stop drop a uh, declaration of war or something? Huh? Huh? Me? Against you? How quaint. Predators don't declare war on their prey. Excuse me. Uh, they just eat them. I simply came to see Yuki. Uh, what? M me? Uh, Yuki, I ready to come to be my lady? To come be my lady? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's never been a woman who's refused me. Come, this is the beginning of our grand adventure together. <laughs> uh, knock it off. Uh, <laughs> I'm never going to like you. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I see. You're cute, Yuki. I've never been denied like this in my life, so this is as amusing as it is novel. Maybe I said this already, but I don't stop until I get what I want. And if I can't have it, I'll make sure no one else can. <laughs> eh? I don't want you to be unhappy, Yuki. I want you to live in my arms. You really should stop teasing me so much, you know? It'd be, I'd be very sad if, if you weren't here. Well, ta-ta, Club Sunshine. I look forward to your continued, albeit futile, efforts. All I do is just partner with people. <laughs> Boy. Hey, Yuki-chan. You okay? Hi. Uh, I'm fine. I... I won't let him intimidate me. Uh, good to hear. Besides, you protect me if anything happened, right? Uh. Uh, you know I got your back. Hi. Hi, me too. Uh, and me three. I'll be your bodyguard, Yuki-chan. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Thank you, everybody. Mm. Yuki-chan's voice is still trembling, but she's trying her best to be brave. Just means I gotta stop Kanahara from having his way. Well, we need, uh, some more fans. We need... How many more fans? <laughs> I already forgot, like, what, 1,500 more fans? Uh, prepare to open... No. Uh, open for business? No. Prepare to open... Club status! Right. 
we have yeah we just need 1500 fans and we get the challenge club venus so i'll see everyone when we get uh 1500 fans to challenge club venus as i also take care of uh, hibiki and saki's uh special training there we go earn 5000 fans in venus area which means this happens <laughs> ah, congratulations, Majima-san. We topped 5,000 fans from the Club Venus area. <laughs> Good job, Yorahan. Club Venus ain't gonna be able to ignore us after this. Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm sure that host wannabe will be here soon to challenge us. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, wait. Ain't you Chika from Club Venus? Uh, what do you want? Uh, I have a message from Kanahara. Here. You got a challenge from Club Venus. Uh, challenge to a carpet club battle, huh? Uh, we ain't gonna go easy on you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh? Um, is Yuki-san here? Uh, Yuki-chan? Hi. Uh, yes? What can I do for you? Uh, Yuki-san, please don't take this personally. If I were you, I'd get out of here as soon as you can. Uh, what? What does that mean? A man I know well has been acting a little strange lately. And, I don't know, I just have a really bad feeling. I think he may be plotting to kidnap you, Yuki-san. Please, you have to be careful. Uh, when you say he, you don't mean... Hey, what's the big idea? You trying to scare Yuki-chan? You trying to throw her off her game so you can get a leg up in the Kyra Club battle? That it? Uh, Majima-san! Uh, no, that's not it at all. He really will do anything to get what he wants. He's a dangerous man. I don't want to see any more girls hurt by him. That's all. If Kanahara catches you, you're gonna have a bad time. So, Yuki-san, please, go somewhere safe for now. Uh, I won't be intimidated like this. Oh. I'm a member of Club Sunshine. I'm going to fight beside Majima-san, Yoda-san, and Ai-chan. I mean, I know I'm still an amateur and I don't have much to contribute, but that doesn't mean I'm going to run away. Uh, Yuki-chan. Besides, everyone here has my back. I'm not afraid of Kanahara. Ugh, uh, I see. I wish you'd believe me, but please be careful. Removing someone from the equation comes all too easily to him. Oh, Chika-san. Chika-san, I wonder if she was really worried about me. If she actually meant it, then I was pretty rude to her. Uh, well, who knows? Maybe Kanahara told her to say those things to scare you. Uh, we'll know soon enough. Looks like we'll be going up against Kanahara any day now. Uh, yes, you're right. Uh. She was always so calm before. So she seemed almost desperate to warn me. What's Kanahara up to? Uh, well, there's never any harm in being more careful. You watch yourself, Yuki-chan. Uh, okay. Oh, and Yuki-chan. You were pretty cool back there. you come a long way. Huh? Uh? What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Who laughs like that? Don't do that. Oh. Uh, hey, Yuki-chan, quit laughing like a cartoon and come help me with this. Hi. Oh, sure. Kanahara, what are you really up to? You can now choose to battle against Club Venus in the Cabra Club management menu. Uh. Ugh, I can't believe Yoda-san would send me out to fetch a vinegar. What a pain in the butt. Are you Yuki-san from Club Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, Majima-san, have you seen Yuki-chan? Uh, Yuki-chan? Uh, nope. Uh, I see. That's strange. She went out for some errands, but she hasn't come back yet. Mm. I wonder if she stopped by somewhere. Yuki-chan loves desserts, so maybe she's having a snack somewhere? Could this be Kanahara's doing? No, it can't be. Uh, let's give her a little more time. Hi. I agreed. We'll have to make do with the other staff members until she comes back. Mm. But I'm worried, though. We'll be going up against Club Venus soon. Yuki has gone missing. She will not be in the staff roster until she returns. Yep. Yuki is gone. As soon as we reach 5,000 plans in Club Venus. Uh, I'm worried about Yuki-chan. Majima-san, do you want to run the Cabaret Club? Alright, let's do it. Yes, let's. Um, 
Yeah, as soon as you reach 5,000 fans from uh, the Club Venus area, Yuki it will actually be gone. As you can see here, Yuki is completely absent. So make sure to remove her from the cast on duty with someone who can actually take her place for her attributes and such. Preferably someone who is decently leveled up, as I try to find someone who is. <laughs> because I thought I did get... Oh, I'm, I guess I'm a little unprepared. Oh boy. Uh, I, I may have uh, messed up. Okay, she's got you go there for now. So, even uh, then, if you want to use uh, Yuki for even the other uh, areas, just to like pass time for a session, like in Club Mars, just wait out three minutes just to get your special training, uh, you still cannot use Yuki until you uh, have liberated Club Venus. So, keep that in mind. So with that, uh, I will actually be doing a bit more special training for Hibiki and Saki. Oh, I guess uh, also to note, you I don't think you can make over... Oh no, you can make over Yuki, but I don't think you can do the Yuki special training since, since she's actually gone. Uh, but I will be doing a bit more special training for, I guess, uh, Saki and Hibiki now since I realize I'm a little under low or a little less prepared than I thought I would. So I'll see you guys in a bit when I am ready to challenge uh, Club Venus in the rival battle. All right, I think we are ready to take on uh, Club Venus now to get Yuki back. So this is the roster I have. Saki, Ai, Junko, Hibiki, Missy Sobe, Unknown, Etsuko, and Akina. Let's do this rival battle with Club Venus. You're going down, Kanahara. Yeah! <laughs> Ugh, that laugh again. What? <laughs> hey there, Majima-kun. I see you're working pretty hard in your seedy little club. How are you doing? Uh, can't complain, I guess. How about you? Your club's losing fans, but you look like you're doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks to you, but now that I look at you, I have to say, you look a little concerned. Is something to matter? Mm. It's almost as if one of the girls in your club has gone missing. <laughs> you, what have you done with Yuki-chan? <laughs> <laughs> now now, Manima-kun, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I told you before, didn't I? I always get what I want. Huh? Uh, you son of a... The time is most unfortunate, isn't it? Based on our analysis, it seems that Yuki-chan is your club's main girl. With its main attraction out of the picture, what hope does Club Sunshine have of winning against us? <clears throat> you know, we could always postpone the battle until later. If you get down on your knees and beg for it, how about it? <clears throat> Ugh, damn it, how slimy can this pawn scum get? What should we do, Majima-san? We're at a real disadvantage without Yuki-chan. Hello? Um... Let's do battle, Majima-san. Uh, what? Uh, sure, it'll be tough without Yuki-chan here. <laughs> but with all of us working together, we'll be able to handle a weasel like this. Besides, if Yuki-chan were in our shoes, I bet she'd want to stick around and fight. Ai-chan. <laughs> Camping into a man like this won't do anyone, uh, any good. Majima-san, let's do this. Let's win to get Yuki-chan back. Huh. Uh, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the inspirational little speech. I'm fired up. Shall we start the Cabaret Club battle then? It's showtime! Here we go. And the good old stare down. And the rival battle begins. Uh, okay. Oh, party. So basically, Kanahara's gimmick with his uh, meter is that he does uh, steal custom steals guests and drains our HP. So we really want to uh, cover for that. Um, yeah, we really just want to cover for that. Uh, go, go, go. Uh, with our own gauge, and you can see he is starting off with his gauge. Uh, going. Yeah, his gauge is, is filling up faster than ours uh, right away. Okay, uh, 
Okay, Omatarian, go. Okay. Uh, guest class. So basically, uh, what I did. To... Damn it. Okay. Uh. Hibiki, go cover. Oh, we'll really have to ask for Saki. Okay. Um, this is a bit bad. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, there's two. Okay. I can't even figure out what was I gonna say before all this is happening. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, one at a time. That's a menu. Okay. Yeah, so what I did in between each session is I basically, with uh, special training, and then I raised our fans in this area, in the Venus area, quite a bit, just so that even after he steals our guests, uh, we can still get- Really? Saki's guest is gone? Oh my god. That actually sucks. I go. Damn. Okay, we don't have to use our gauge yet. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need to use our gauge just yet. Our HP is actually still pretty good. Yes. Extend session. Vegetarian. Uh, please last. Yeah. So. I I'm trying to think of what to say. I know my commentary has probably been lacking in these episodes, but I feel like there's not much to say for this. Okay. Uh, this first. Okay. And then two guests leave. We'll just pop it. Okay. We're probably behind, so I think we just have to rip it each time. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I should be getting better at commentary though, as I go on. I definitely just think that uh, this Let's Play is dragged on for such a long time that I can't really give good commentary on this sort of side content right now. Uh, I think also when I have other ideas I want to do for videos as well. So, I also want to spend time working on those. Uh, as of... Oh, God damn. He actually just keeps spamming it. Okay. But, uh, don't worry. Um, Hibiki. Hibiki. There. I don't know... As of recording this right now, I don't know if this will be up before I go to my local convention, but uh, it really depends on uh, how much progress is getting done before, but I was thinking for my convention that I'm attending, oh, that sucks, uh, the, the convention that I'm attending, I'll probably Think about vlogging it and then uh, uploading it. And this is, of course, oh, as of this part of the episode being recorded before the convention, one week before. Uh, so that puts time into perspective on when this sort of section gets spliced in. Okay, uh, so I'll oh, August. Use it. And he uses it as well. Okay, Saki's gone. Oh, wait, he's on. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, so I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know. We are a week away, but I'm unsure. So there's that. If there is, I think that vlog will come up before this episode. So stay tuned for that, I guess. Uh, but I'm not sure. I, I just want to focus on actually finding a job right now, just so I have some income coming in and I can actually have money to spend on stuff I want. 
So, there's that. Quick glance over, make sure that we are recording, because I don't want all this to go to waste. Uh, okay. This Obitarian has actually been doing pretty well. Surprisingly. Okay, good job. Yeah, Kanahara is a hard uh, battle to do. So I don't know if we actually win. I've won every... When I played this for the first time, I did win every single Vena, uh, Cabaret Club battle first try, albeit hard. And I'm not sure if we got it this time. Oh, Hibiki's HP is running really low, though. Uh, Hibiki, go back out again. Sit down. So, Sunshine Fever. I get back out there. Uh, come on. Okay, nine seconds left. Oh, God, I was just about to use it. Oh, it looks like we are. Oh, if we're in fever, it actually covers us. But our food and drink sales once again just toppled them. And that's a victory. Wow. We had the same amount of guests, but our we our cover charge is fifteen thousand more. We got a tremendous amount of we got as well fifteen million more food and drink sales. Surprisingly, we spent none on gifts. They spent three million on gifts, and then just, we had near double the staff cost. But the food and drink sales pushed us way beyond. Damn. Good job, Hibiki. Holy. But it definitely felt really close because of how much he was spamming his uh, uh, gauge. So I didn't think we would have been able to uh, win, but we did. And Saki was the one who didn't contribute much, sadly. But it's like every. I think most of her tables actually got kicked out, sadly. So that's unfortunate. But there we go, a victory over the Venus uh, area. Ugh, how could I possibly lose to these losers? Me! <laughs> Eclipse and Shan ain't, ain't even gotten warmed up yet. You had enough? <laughs> <laughs> Justice always prevails. <laughs> Inconceivable. Huh? No, 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 no! I wasn't supposed to lose. I was supposed to win. I haven't taken him down yet. Uh. It's okay, Kanahara. Let it go. I stood with you in your pursuit to pur surpass Tsukiyama-san. No matter how single-minded and even uh, ma manacle things, ma maniac. Ma what the? F uh, that's that's probably maniac. So maniacal, maniacal things. God, I know you'd do anything to achieve mm -hmm. that. But it's time to let it go. I don't want to see you suffer anymore. Let the weight fall off your shoulders, and let's walk out of this. Are you okay with that? Chica. Huh? Don't you mess with me! Huh? I see why I lost now. It was you, Chica. You were slacking. And you didn't do your job. I, w I would never. It was you, not me. I didn't have you wrong. I'll let you be with me because I thought you'd be useful. And this is how you repay me. I don't need you anymore. Huh? Get the hell out of here. I don't ever want to see your face again. How could you? No. Oh, this is so wrong. Chica did her best for huh? you. Shut the hell up. You don't know shit. This can't be the end of the line for me. How can you possibly understand the pressure I'm under? Majima! I won't let this... I won't take this line down. Come out and fight me. An ugly man to the bitter end. Shut the hell up. I don't care about what anyone thinks of me. Nobody's gonna stop huh? me. You're mine, Majima! Eh, fine. When I win, you're gonna give Yuki back. It's been a while since we fought. But Club Venus, Kanahara, we are fighting him just in the back alley here. Off, uh, yeah, off camera, I have uh, uh, improved some of our abilities in our styles. 
and heat action, good damage. So we can actually hit harder, and we have more tools at our disposal if we need if we need it. There we go. Oh, I usually don't see this heat action. That's pretty sick. Okay, let's build up our heat gauge again. Um. Uh, okay. Let's do this. Take that, Kanahara. Let's not burn heat gauge there. I can take care of this just uh, bug style. And yeah, Kanahara is a bit of a hard fight if you don't have the money in styles as well. Which is why I made a priority to actually put some more money into these styles. Uh, so we can actually have an easier time when it comes to fighting, since I have been struggling with Majima's fights. Okay, that's awful. Uh, let's do heat action. Different one. Not much damage, but we can build up our uh, heat gauge again anyways. Uh, he's guarding. Let's try and get around him. Quick step attacks. Um, okay, no heat again, so we're attacking slow. There we go. Let's see. Oh, we cannot grab him. He counters our grab. Come on. Well, we technically can counter his grab. I would, we would just need to. Uh, Probably equip a certain piece of equipment. Is there an accessory? Oof. There we go. Uh, let's grab this. Good damage, good damage. But, yeah. I think that we should be done the Cabra Club soon. And then move on with just pure stories, since there's not many sub-stories left. There's a few that I, that I do want to take care of. So, although, most of them here is tied to the Cabaret Club, because of the hostesses. So that's gonna suck. Uh, miss. But Kanahara is not hitting that hard, now that I'm seeing things. Well, that's pretty good. I, thought, I remember him being a little harder, but I guess I was still inexperienced to the Hexa games. But now, over. I don't need another serious hit. <laughs> How can I go down a bunch of losers like you? This can't be happening. Uh, you're the one training everyone like your personal pawns. You can, did you call us the losers? Huh? Uh, I won't accept it. I demand we do it over. How pathetic, Kanahara. Tsukiyama's eh? son. <sighs> to think that a pitiful wretch like you was once considered number two among the five stars. I suggest you remove yourself before you cause me any further embarrassment. Tsukiyama's son, I only want to surpass you. Never in a million years. Now, not another word. You're useless. I want you out of my sight. If you don't, I can make some arrangements. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Uh, Tsukiyama. <laughs> it's been it's been a while, Majima-san. My humble apologies if my inept minion actually managed to cause you trouble. Uh, he was your crew, wasn't he? You want to call yourself the boss, then you just failed just as hard. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm embarrassed. In any event, defeating Club Venus. That's quite a feat, Majima-san. Though I expect nothing less from the manager of the Cabaret Grand. Yeah, I'm real honored. First it was Hino, and now Kanahara. I say the five stars ain't twinkling so bright anymore. <laughs> to be frank, I really care about the five stars. If it goes bust, it's truly a non-issue. Kanahara, in particular, became quite conceited after he got a little power and money. I knew I would have to get rid of him at some point. <laughs> and you did it just for me, Majima-san. I can't thank you enough. But sooner or later, I may have to step in and fight you myself. Call it gut feeling. It's mutual. <laughs> I look forward to the day then. That I can personally put an end to you along with Club Sunshine and Cabaret Grand. Farewell. 
Also, we'll be against Tsukiyama soon. Uh, Majima-san. Ah. Uh, yo, Chika-chan. Um, I'm really sorry about Kanahara. Chika-chan. Ah. Uh, never mind that. Ain't no need for you to apologize. Are you okay, Chika-chan? Uh, not really, I guess. I didn't think he'd say something like that to me. Cloud's probably going to be shut down too. What am I going to do? If you want, why don't you go work it for us? Huh? Huh? You don't got Kanahara, so you won't be working with your boyfriend anymore. And like Kanahara said, compared to Venus, Club Sunshine looks a little seedy. The girls and the owner are pretty are a pretty weird bunch too. You kind of from me, well, that's saying something. <laughs> But you know, I like sunshine just the way it is. Working here puts a smile on my face. Maybe if you come aim aboard, you'll find yourself smiling more than you did at the old club too. I could work with a smile. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe tears are a woman's uh, weapon sometimes. But I say a smile packs a lot more heat. Come to think of it, I don't think I've smiled in a while. Work, love, both of those should have been a lot more fun. Somewhere along the line, I lost all of that. Chikachan. You club sunshine's Majima Goro, right? Look forward to working with you. Yeah. Uh yeah, hey. for sure. Thank you. You recruit Chika. And would you look at that? You smile, and it's like the sun just busted through the clouds. <laughs> you really think so? That makes me so happy. Uh right. Lay the charm on the customers just like that. Uh, I guess all's well that ends well. <laughs> Time to celebrate our victory. Uh good call. You guys did a great job today. Let's pop some corks. Huh? Are we forgetting something? Eh, it could have been important. <laughs> Help! Yuki has returned safely. Blocks have been unlocked for the slugger style. And here's a billion yen. <laughs> ah, Tsukiyama's Club Moon is the only club remaining. Club Moon has always set the bar. I never imagined we'd be on the same level as them, much less have a shot at winning. Aye. Let's take the fight to Club Moon area. You can now take on Club Moon. Press through the story, cover club battles by increasing the fan number of fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same deal. But Yuki is back! And yeah, we totally forgot about her! But she was basically right above Club Sunshine the entire time. So, uh, we technically could have, uh, saved her. And Hibiki is absent. That's fine by me. She, Hibiki pulled so much weight. But of course, with Hibiki absent, which means we can't do her special training. But we have Chika now. Okay. Uh, yeah. That that was a pretty good battle. But I will once again wrap things up here. And next time on Yakuza Zero, we you will see what attributes I'll have for Chica, but we will be taking on the Club Moon area and hopefully bring an end to uh, the Cabaret Club battles. So with that, I'll see everyone next time.